We have a new 2025 Volvo EX90, and it's a car fit for a movie villain. Why? It's got a laser beam up here on the roof. This is a LiDAR system, and it's used for all the ADAS functions to build a 3D world to help the vehicle avoid obstacles out on the road. And you may have seen a video online where it's said to burn the sensor of a digital camera. So we have a car, I've got a phone, let's try this out. So through the camera, I can see the infrared beam here. It's flashing. Um, with my naked eye, I cannot see it. I'm about a foot away from the LiDAR unit here, and I gotta be honest, it's not damaging the camera sensor on this phone. Nothing. Yeah, didn't do anything there. Not doing it. So now it should... Now it's on. Okay. Did you get it? No. Yeah, this is, we've tried this multiple times. We did try it with an old iPad to start with, and it did cause some damage to that. So we have had mixed results. But in this case, on this phone, it's just not happening. So we reached out to Volvo about this, and here's what they said. We are aware of the risk of damage to camera sensors when capturing close-up images of LiDAR. LiDAR uses pulses of light from a laser, and lasers present an inherent risk of damage to camera sensors. If there is a desire to take close-up photo or video of the LiDAR unit, it is recommended that it to be done in park when the LiDAR is not active. So as you can see, it took a bunch of attempts here and we had mixed results. We would say there's not a big risk here, although there is still a risk. Just be aware of it. If you are gonna take a photo or video of one of these things, make sure that vehicle's in park.